okay hi guys and thank you so much for clicking to watch this video if you are a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel and if you're new please don't leave without clicking the subscribe button also click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a new video ah and i felt so weird we're back guys we're back we are back this is the first video of 2020 if i'm being honest i did film a video last week but i wasn't happy with the quality so i had to cut it especially for the first video of 2020 you know it's supposed to set the mood set the tone so i didn't upload but yeah guys i haven't had a chance to wish you guys a new year and this is pre 15th of january so i still think it's like appropriate to say happy new year once the 15th of January comes while well, well, well within the new year. No more happy new years, none of that, okay? So I'm so happy to see you guys. I haven't sat to film in a while, but yeah, I've just found the time to sit down and film and to speak to you guys. So this video is gonna be the shortest video ever, right? Shortest video. Basically, um, I just wanted to welcome you guys to my channel and into the new year and you know, touch base. <laughs> touch base with you guys. So, um, then at the end of the video, I'm obviously going to um, announce who our giveaway winner was. Thank you so much for everyone who took the time out to, um, what's it called, participate in the competition. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> we have a winner, which means as our family, as us, we now have an identity, okay? But I'm going to announce that at the end of the video, just so that you guys watch. Because, you know, you may watch who won the giveaway and then... If I announce it first, you're just like, okay, click out of this video. Y'all gonna have to sit here and listen to what I have to say before I announce the giveaway winner. Cool. So basically, um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys like a life update, right? So not really a life update. I don't want to call it that. I just wanted to touch base with you guys. So basically, it's a new year. It's 2020. So how I ended my 2019 was just like beautiful 2019 i think was one of my favorite years um i came out of it a conqueror a nobara a powerful girl so basically um yeah we made it we're here we're around and so how i ended off 2019 was so special i got to spend time with family members and i remember i had said i'm going to vlog for you guys what i do during the holiday what i get up to if ever i do something fun the plan was to experience Cape Town as like a tourist. That was my plan and I was going to vlog it. So the first time I think I did vlog, I went out for lunch with my friends. We were actually supposed to go on a boat ride, but the weather was bad and the it was very windy, but also the boats were fully booked. It was literally the 24th of December. And so we decided to, we thought we were just gonna rock up. And so that didn't turn out the way we had planned. But the thing is guys, if in all honesty, uh, my I, the reason why I feel like the end of my 2019 was so special is because I got to spend time with my family members, right? My dad's side and my mom's side and I feel like that was the most like special gift ever. And so many of them, not many of them, <laughs> it's been a lit year guys, 2018 and 2019 were like lit years. Um, I was with my cousins and some of them had children, right? So um, I know my cousin, She her baby is like is he three months three or four months old my other cousin her baby is about six months old and then the other baby is about a year and like four months so i spent a lot of time with them and although we did some really cool things i didn't feel like it was appropriate to vlog especially because the theme of my holiday was anti devza so i took and oh i have another nephew my boy he's um he turned five in december so we did like we did quite a lot but also it was very like child child oriented like you know a lot of it had to do with like being with kids and going out with kids and stuff and so i didn't feel like it was really appropriate to vlog that especially because um they're little they're not mine can't really be just throwing them in the deep end like that the other one Ralutia is old enough the five-year-old is old enough to be on the social media streets Ralutia also she's about a year and a few months now so she's also ready but the other ones are really little and i just didn't think it was appropriate to be like <laughs> i'm chilling with my cousin and then showing the world the preciousness that is like little babies so i'm sorry i didn't vlog guys but yeah the long and short of it is it's a new year and um yeah 
that's another thing we need to discuss is the whole content creating thing. If I am being totally honest with you guys, I've reached like a game roadblock. I've, I've reached like a block. I like, I'm so confused. I did my vision board earlier in the year. So I did it, I think I was finished with it the 3rd of January. So I worked on it the 1st and the 2nd of January. By the 3rd of January, I was done with my vision board this year. Last year, I finished my vision board in like August. <laughs> I feel like last year was the year of planting seeds. And so this year is the year of um, growing. So it's the year of watering the plants, like just making sure that everything grows. We're not reaping anything yet. It's too, it's too early, it's too early. And so I know exactly what I want. So I have set targets for everything. I have set targets for this platform, for YouTube. I have set targets for Instagram. And um, ah, Twitter, literally I just lurk. I lurk the Twitter streets like, I'm quiet, I'm initial needs. I'm scared, I'm scared. So I just literally lurk, a retweet here and there, but I'm not like an active, like, you know, Twitter person. So I mean, I have set goals for 2020, but I'm, I'm, I'm sitting at like a crossroads because I feel like the goals that I've set, some of them are very, hey guys, I work from eight o'clock in the morning to about, <laughs> half past five six o'clock in the evening i'm trying to also like gym so i'm trying to work gym out into that schedule in the evenings i'm just like literally trying to be every woman and trying to have every woman be in me okay it's all in me so i'm trying to structure out a time for a content creating like and i've also like recently wiped off my whole instagram account like i have a new I've like deleted all my pictures on Instagram because I just wanted to have a new start, have a fresh start, post quality images, quality content. Um, and I just felt like I just needed a new slate, a clean slate. So I deleted literally everything. I think I've got like four or five pictures right now on my Instagram. And so it may be like um, a bit awkward. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but yeah, I'm trying to focus on content creating, but like trying to think of the practicality of it all is just like hectic so this year I don't want to like commit to upload days and stuff like that because also a girl is going back to school okay so I'm adding school in the mix and school is just like a huge like we all know school is like it detrimental so I really don't know where I'm going to find the time but I promise to try and find the time so for example it's quarter to eight, so work starts. I work starts at eight, but I can be that nine. <laughs> so this morning I woke up at five. I did a whole beat, by the way. Finished it at like I think I was done by five past seven, and then now I'm sitting in front of the camera. But Lord knows, at like half past eight, I need to be making my way to the office. At nine o'clock, I'm there, and then the week starts. And so I haven't. It's only today's the thirteenth of January. It's a Monday morning. And I haven't even started with school and I can already feel hurry. This is like stressful. So in all honesty, guys, adding school in the mix is um, it's just going to complicate our relationship. And so I'm going to try my best to find time. But also, which is another aspect I want to talk about, I want to give you guys quality content. Like I'm, I, 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 I have visions and I have plans for my channel and I'm always going to ask myself, I've even given myself like a criteria, right? A criteria, hooray, I need to meet this with every video that I upload. And so that's going to need time and it's gonna need attention on my part. And so this year, I, I plan to work hard. I plan to not only focus on like having like, like 24 hours in a day or whatever. I'm trying to utilize my 24 hours the best that I can, but also I'm also just trying to not get into a place where I'm not living. <laughs> so that's not gonna happen. So on that part, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try my best. And so yeah. The other thing I wanted to talk about is yes, the quality content and stuff. I was looking back on my videos and I was thinking about how sometimes I just post videos just so that I know it's, it's Monday. I promised them a video on a Sunday or I promised them a video on a Monday and whew, at least I've delivered. No more guys, no more because in that I compromise quality so everything's gonna go through a screening process from now and then I'm just gonna make sure that the end product and the end like delivery like where the line ends, which is you guys. There is satisfaction from you guys as well. Which brings me to another point, right? 
the crossroads um i'm this is just us touching base guys like there's just a lot going on in my mind a lot going on in my heart a lot going on in my spirit okay so basically also um you know i don't know what to do i don't know what to do for you guys like i don't I've I thought about it. What will this and I just think touching base is honestly the most honest thing I can do for a first video I think it's it's the most legit the most like I'm just pouring out my heart to you guys You guys see it in raw in jalo, but I'm actually thinking to myself dude. What is the next upload? I don't know. I don't know what you guys want to see. I don't know what I want to give you guys I have plans in the future, right? So I know that in the beginning of Feb I'm gonna be vlogging something really cool. I've actually started vlogging it. I'm gonna start vlogging it today, but it's like a getting ready for something. And so I can't really like ruin the content now. So I know that beginning of Feb, ding, there's gonna be a banger, but I don't like, oof, I don't know what you guys wanna see. I don't know what to show you guys. I, I'm asked. But which means I'm open to suggestions guys. Let me know what you guys are interested in seeing the content you guys want from me this year And I will try my best to whew, Give you guys what you guys are looking for. Okay, so comment down below what your plans are for 2020 uh, If there's anything new you're trying what you're trying to achieve who you're trying to become You know comment that down below and I wish you guys the greatest success and whatever you guys like journey on this year whatever you guys wherever your paths lead you or whatever whatever you embark on this year whatever you begin something new all the best like best wishes to you guys you can do it the fact that the thought crossed your mind whatever it is sometimes your dreams are scary you're just like oh, oh, oh how could i even think this but for the fact that you know god allowed that thought to linger in your mind means you're so capable of doing it you're so capable of becoming everything and anything you want to become before i announce the giveaway winner though i want to read you guys a quote right so powerful so it's just for like a new year it's from my diary my 2020 diary right yes yes my 2020 diary oh wow yeah it's full it's from my 2020 diary and basically my diary has like little quotations at the bottom not quotations quotes it has little quotes at the bottom which i think are very very like some of them are very inspiring some of them are just like i will need to me but this one was really i really found it interesting um it says you don't have to close the book to start a new chapter just turn the page and it's by billy cox I think that so deep so deep I know that it's like a new year and all of us are like in the mood for changing things and we want to be different people and you know you want to start new things break um, old habits break toxic habits and you know and so some of us are like you may be scared and you may think oh like I have to go through like a hectic transition or whatever it's not even like that sometimes to make a change you just need to turn the page like start off with small changes and small changes eventually lead to big changes and a lot of small changes are equivalent to a huge change so i mean you know instead of saying yo yay early diet keto it's me or whatever i mean if you can do that do that but you could also you know cut out certain things i don't know if you get me if you're trying to Angas, I don't know what your goals may be, but all I'm saying is sometimes you may think Hori, you just need to go through like some drastic change for it to work You really don't all it takes is just like turning over the page starting afresh and just being Angas, just being great. And so yes guys, I wish you all the best for 2020 20 plenty 20 Tweeny babies, I get if that's even a thing. Mara, I wish you guys the best. I'm so excited about this year. And so yeah, I hope you guys are excited too. Comment down below what you guys plan to do for the year, guys. And comment down below the content you guys want to see because we don't know if there'll be a video next week if I don't know what you guys want to see. <laughs> you get my point? <laughs> So I'll see you guys next week. I love you guys so much. And let me know if you guys also want to see somebody. Like if I should have a guest on my show and discuss something Angaz, tell me and we will work on it i love you guys so much until the next one Gosh, guys another thing we must pray for in 2020 is to learn how to lay
wigs and edges but I was far enough for you guys not to see that there is a mess here. I was far enough. Oh guys, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show Okay guys, bye. Bye. And even my nails are so cute. Kitty mom nails. Shalang fe. Just check those out. Kitty mom nails. I like you cute, guys. Such a cute girl. Bye. Bye. You don't deserve me. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. This white, yeah. Hi, guys. Um, I'm actually, I was editing the video. I'm in my office, but yeah. I was editing that video and I realized I didn't actually announce the giveaway winner, right? So the giveaway winner is none other than, drum roll, please. I just had lunch, so Ooh, it's just a it's just a mess. Drum roll, please. Swatle <laughs> Camille. She said we should be called the official gang, okay? And um, she didn't say official gang, but I think it would be cute for us to be known as the official gang. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much to Swatle for that suggestion. Um, yeah, you are the giveaway winner, so you get to win. I forgot what you get to win. I'm gonna put it somewhere here. So one of you gets this. So part of the giveaway is this Real Techniques um, Miracle Sponges. So this is the makeup bag that I'll be giving away. It's like these. Um, I got it from Diskim. So basically inside the makeup bag, okay, you will get um, a pair of these lashes. Okay, so these are the Mink 3D. Um, lashes okay I've got two eyeshadow brushes in here um, basically it's almost like a startup makeup kit I have another beauty blender in there and also this eyebrow pencil which is my favorite eyebrow pencil <laughs> my favorite eyebrow pencil and uh, the eyeshadow palette the eye like guys I tried. It's got about, let me count how many shades it has. This has 63 eyeshadow shades, guys. 63 eyeshadow shades, and one of you gets to walk away with it. So, yes. Thank you so much. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye to the official game. <laughs> Bye.